This is still one job of a firefighter, speeding off to fight fires of all sizes, from small sheds to huge apartment buildings. Fire department! But they're also dispatched to inspect homeless encampments. They help people find food and shelter and provide emergency medical care across the city. Today, three out of every four calls to Saskatoon's fire department have nothing to do with fires. It's a similar story across the country. That's because cities are grappling with surging homelessness, an addictions epidemic, and an overburdened healthcare system. We're only, what, 5% of the population? Right. Firefighters are being asked to do much more. I think we all came to this realization that we all needed to approach things in a different way. We have mobile CADs in all the vehicles now. This aids the crews. Saskatoon Fire Chief Morgan Hackle is retiring soon after a 36-year career. Hackle was just named Saskatoon's Fire Chief of the Year for embracing these changes. We're embedded in this community. We look to people to uh, support them, to protect them, to help them in times of need. Um, we are partnering across this community in so many th ways. Their new plan emphasizes firefighting innovations, but also mental health, housing supports, and reconciliation. One shelter manager says the rest of the country could learn a lot from Saskatoon's example. They're part of the community rather than just focused on their narrow job description, uh, which if everyone could do that, it'd be a great place to live, even better than it is. Hackle says the job of a firefighter is far more complicated than when he started in the 1980s, but he says that's okay. He says it's about doing whatever it takes to keep residents safe. Jason Warwick, CBC News, Saskatoon.